guys it's Chloe welcome back to my vlog channel in today's video I'm actually going to be doing another baking video I'm actually going to be me making chocolate covered pretzels I used to make this with my mom literally every single year of Christmas and I just um, I wanted to film it for you guys I've been doing it every Christmas um, since I've gotten older so you just get like the little pretzels you put any discs on them I got chocolate sea salt caramel and peanut butter and then you wait till they melt for two minutes in the oven people use pecans walnuts any type of nuts I'm using M&Ms and sprinkles you know because the holiday season so I'm very excited to do this video for you guys but I'm actually going to be doing like a little voiceover just to make it easier so you're just gonna see me um, maybe like dancing or like show you guys how to do the pretzels but then I'm gonna obviously gonna record myself over and do a voiceover when I edit the video so if you're new here make sure to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell right by my name to be notified of every video I upload and without further ado let's get right into this video right here I am just preheating the oven to 350 degrees for the pretzels well as you can see right now I'm literally dancing all I want for Christmas is you by Mariah Carey and um I don't know how to dance but yeah, I was having a fun time this day, as you can tell. I was jamming. As you can see right here, I am just pouring the pretzels on the baking sheet. What I am doing right here is I am laying all of the pretzels on the baking sheet. You don't have to lay them like I am. You just want to make sure they're all flat on the baking pan. You want to make sure that they're not overlapping each other. You want to just make sure that they're all flat so when we go into the discs, it'll be nice and easy and just put as many pretzels on the baking pan as you possibly can. Here is me showing you guys all of the pretzels that are laid on the baking sheet just like you saw it. They're all nice and neat and crisp. As you see right here, I am placing each peanut butter disc on a pretzel. So when we put them in the oven for two minutes, they're going to melt. Then we will put the M&Ms and sprinkles on the pretzels. These discs taste amazing. I was just like picking at them this whole time. I just finished putting half of the peanut butter discs on. So now here I am putting the milk chocolate on. I wanted to get the dark chocolate, but... They didn't have any, but that's what I'm doing with this tray. I'm putting the chocolate pretzels in the oven, bake them for two minutes until they're nice and melted, and then we will put the M&Ms and sprinkles on. I am now starting to put the M&Ms on the chocolate pretzels that I just put in the oven for two minutes. As you can see, I am doing the peanut butter ones. They're all melted. I actually didn't do Christmas colors. I kind of just use the M&M's bag that I got just all the multicolored ones so that is what I'm doing now and they're looking all nice and pretty like I talked about in the beginning of this video you don't have to do sprinkles and M&M's you can do pecans you can do Volvos you can do honestly any type of candy or nut you can even do walnuts peanuts I see people doing any kind this is just what I have been using since I have grown up and I've been baking these ever since I was little, so I've just been using M&Ms and, and pretzels. I just loved how this batch turned out. I'm going to be doing the next batch. I'm starting off my second baking sheet of these chocolate pretzels. I actually had sea salt and peanut butter, and I believe this one is sea salt caramel, or the other one might have been. I'm not really sure. But right now, now I'm putting on the milk chocolate discs on the pretzels. <laughs> putting my second baking sheet in the oven right now and as I started to make the first one I actually been starting to realize that I should put the milk chocolate ones a little over two minutes because I can tell that they're not melted all the way through but so I'm gonna have to do that next time but I'm just putting them in the oven for two minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I did have this little clip in making my sugar cookies that is actually in a previous video but this is actually where I got all the discs at my local sugar shop. I'm putting a little bit of a bonus clip in. These are all the Christmas cookies I made for Christmas time. I just wanted to show you guys all of my hard work and creativity and I really enjoy baking. It's like a really big passion of mine. I really hope you guys like these kinds of vlog styles. If you haven't subscribed already to my vlog channel, make sure you subscribe it down below and comment any kinds of videos you guys want me to film, fitness, food, anything. 